And the 2020 Tokyo Olympics should be in full swing with the Paralympics next up. But the coronavirus has forced a postponement onto 2021. How has this affected athletes and coaches from around the world? Let's dip into this discussion now as we are joined by Evelyn Akato, co-captain of the D-Tigers and currently playing professionally for the Flames Kalolo of France. It's good to have you here today and I want to say how has it been for you since the lockdown? Now that the lockdown has actually been lifted, there are still talks about the Tokyo Olympics being held sometime in 2021. But let's bring it down to the lockdown. How has the lockdown been for you as an athlete being out of sports for this long? I don't think most athletes cannot say that they have been out of sports for this long in, uh, in their entire career. Uh, well, it hasn't really been easy, you know. Um, usually, the season overseas ends a bit May, June, and we tend to do our off-season practicing or playing over, uh, in America or summer league. But uh, this year has really been different, you know, uh, being out of basketball for months and not being able to, like, touch anybody or play. And honestly, I'm even back to France and my teammate was telling me that it's so boring working out alone. It's really boring, actually. And so, yeah, it really hasn't been easy um, not playing basketball. It, it can't be easy at all, Evelyn, especially that this happened just before the Olympics. And so many people have been looking at the Tigrises as a team that has really developed. I mean, you've expressed a lot of hope that this team could become one of the top 10 teams in the world. So I want to know how this has really affected you in terms of your reaction to the cancellation or postponement of the Olympics. A lot of athletes spend so long training just for that period, only yeah. for it not to happen. Um, a documentary is coming out on this and the effects on mental health on athletes. So let me pose that to you and how it's affected you. Honestly, um, I almost went crazy, you know, that no basketball and not seeing my teammates to work out with or practice. And, like, it really affected my mental health, honestly. I, I don't blame a lot of people who who actually go, went crazy during this um, lockdown. And, um, well, I always say, I always try to be positive, you know. And uh, one thing I always try to push is you can't control what you can control. You can only control what you can control. You can't control. We cannot control this uh, pandemic, you know, but we can only control how we act or how we react to it. And it's just all about staying positive and try to just keep fit mentally because it's really important to be, stay fit mentally. And I think that's what we as an athlete we've been doing, not just me, but also my teammates, you know, trying to talk to the team, you know, through via Zoom Zoom calls and just communicating on WhatsApp calls, trying to encourage one another to make sure we are all um, okay and stable, you know. All right, Evelyn, the talk about uh, the issues around the mental health is a very, very serious issue. But let's not move it on. There have been polls drawn time and time again in the city of Tokyo, which is to host the next Olympics, be it next year or whenever they actually find a fit to actually do that. But the question I want to pose to you, as they've been asking people in Tokyo, Japan, should it be, would you prefer a subdued Olympics or would you prefer the elaborate Olympic with all the fanfare, with all the jamboree? Which would you be more comfortable with going into the Tokyo Olympics? Um... Honestly, well, this is for one, this is my first Olympics, so I don't really know how it is. But I think the main thing is for us to just play. I don't think the jamboree will really be good. I think just uh, playing the game, you know, playing um, for one, the World Cup is in two, three years' time. Yeah, the World Cup is two years' time 2022. 2020, yeah. Yes, so. The Olympics needs to be played next year. If not, I think it's going to be cancelled. If and it's that not would played, be a big um, shame. Yeah, I know, but it's, it's really going to break my heart. 
honestly, because I was really looking forward. Oh, I am looking forward to playing next year at the Olympics. But I just wanted to be be like the normal Olympics. I know it it might be difficult, you know, um, because of this pandemic. But I just want to experience everything that as every other athlete that I played um, that have played the Olympics. I just want to experience it as well. We can imagine. And I'm sorry that you have to actually go through this experience. It's a very, very tough time for athletes. Evelyn Akato, many thanks for joining us today on Newsday, co-captain of the Tigris uh, basketball team here in Nigeria, our national women's team.